Hey, everybody. Happy Thursday. Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich here. We could talk about the forecast today being kind of summer-like, and we could see a couple pop-up storms. But overall, the risk for severe storms today is relatively low, especially considering we have a pretty strong cold front moving in. The problem is this front is weakening and the energy is to the north. So you see the front kind of lingering off towards the, the west of us right now. If I quickly throw the temperatures on there, you see the warm, humid air ahead of the system. It is really, really warm as you look east of the front. Temperatures in the 70s, even the 80s, really cool behind this front as it heads our way. Now, there is a small severe weather risk today, but it's relatively low. I'm going to put the day one outlook on here. And you can see it's really just an area uh, just north of Charlotte. I'd say I-40 north. And probably the medium risk is into, West, or into Virginia, into western parts of Delaware and southern parts of Maryland. So the Chesapeake Bay area is the area we're watching. But really, that's honestly the only area we're watching for severe storms tomorrow, not looking at much of anything. The story is going to be the rain and the cold air because we've already got the low pressure, which is taking place down here. This front is going to stall somewhere in here tonight. This low pressure is going to track along the front, and we're going to see northeast winds develop, which will really give us cool conditions for Friday and Saturday, but also give us some pretty, uh, pretty decent rain chances. So let's start looking at that future cast. All right, let's dive right into the future cast here. We'll focus in on the Carolinas. You can see as we go into the afternoon hours, it's 3 o'clock, not a lot going on. So all in all, most of today will be dry. Now this evening, that's when things get a little more interesting. We could see a couple pop-up storms. And again, if we're going to see a severe storm, it's going to be up in this area. That's the area we're watching, and the models are indicating that pretty well. You see them moving to the north. Those would be the only area to watch. That's why you see that, that risk of severe weather up there. And real quickly, I'll pop that back up just to kind of show you. That's where it sets up, right there. So that's why you see the risk of severe storms there. But tonight, that front moves in. It begins to stall to our south. So as we go into the overnight hours, we wake up early Friday morning. That front is somewhere in here, likely, I'm guessing, somewhere right about here, drifting to the south really cold air. So tomorrow's going to be a weird day. The high temperature is going to happen at midnight. And as we go through the day, the temperature will fall. So you can see as we get into the, the morning hours, this is 10 a.m. The front is right here. You can kind of see it. And then we just got heavy rain overriding that front. And really the middle of this Friday, is just looking ugly too. A, a lot of rain there. That looks like really heavy rain. And then we go into the evening. The rain continues to pick up. Another wave of low pressure forms to the south and begins to push up here. So as we go into early Saturday, another surge of moisture. So Friday, Saturday, there's going to be two distinct, I think, heavy waves of rain. And really Saturday, I mean, that is that is looking like a washout Saturday, especially because this low pressure is going to track along the front and we're going to see widespread rain. Now, there's some good news for, for, uh, for Sunday. It does look like this wave of low pressure moves in and cooler, drier air moves in and may scour out the rain and clouds. So Easter Sunday is looking up. Let's take a quick look at those temperatures. This is going to be a doozy of a temperature drop. So just to give you an idea, these temperatures are in the 70s, 80s, very summer-like feel today. But watch what happens as we go into to, tonight. Here's the warm air. Those are 80s and the darker reds. We go into tonight and we get into tomorrow. Here comes that cold air coming in on the northeast wind. So this is 1 o'clock Friday afternoon. Um, look at the temperature. I'm going to put some. I'm going to plot some temperatures here real quickly just to give you a general idea on what these temperatures are doing and then we'll loop it a little bit here um, so let's throw some on there we'll back it up I, I was hoping it was going to animate but watch this boom that is the wedge if i've ever seen it we'll loop this a couple of times and i tell you what that is a cold air mass moving in let's loop this all the way here and we'll stop it right there that's your typical cold air dam you've got high pressure to the north Clockwise flow, pumping cool, dry air at the surface, stalled front to the south, overrunning moisture, just really cold air. Again, this is going into Saturday morning. You get the idea, 40s and even, there could be some snow above 4,000 feet in the mountains. Certainly looks like that setup. So get ready. Huge changes on the way. We'll keep an eye on the isolated severe storm risk, but that is really, really low. The story is going to be the rain and cold for Friday and Saturday with vast improvement for Easter Sunday.